looking to make my way to the train station in Newmarket. I've got a little morning out on the train to go to Saxe London. I've got some drawings that I'm delivering to a gallery. So join me today as I have a day out. and a water brush to add some colour. So that's the pen layer complete and then I need to add some colour. So this is my finished sketch, very quick, very rough, I realise what the time is and I need to get the train back. I'll just try to be as quick and some, as free as possible with this one. Difficult to see in the sun. So I've got a few minutes before the train arrives and I just want to talk a little bit about relationships between artists and galleries. It's really important that if you have the opportunity to show you with the gallery and get involved with them that you've both got the same goals 
that you've both got the same desire to see your work sell, not just because it's it's good, but because people enjoy it, people relate to it, and that also that it's of a good enough quality for them. Galleries will pick and choose different artists for different times, for different clients. Galleries have got a client book which is large and varied, but you need to be absolutely certain that the gallery is right for you. The best way to do it is to go and visit the galleries at different times of the year, see what different exhibitions they've got, see what work they show at the moment and just think to yourself, does my work stand out? Is it any different to these? Is it the same? Is it the same colour palette? Is it the same subject matter? All these things are really, really important. And you'll get a feel and an understanding of what the gallery is about. Chat to the staff there, have a look round. Now, I am only with two galleries at the moment, but that doesn't mean I am not wanting to show in any more galleries. But for now, that's that's where I'm at, and that's a, that's a good thing because I can concentrate on those two galleries. For example, the gallery that I've just dropped off drawings to. They're not particularly interested in any of my more contemporary abstract sunsets and landscapes. Not at the moment, but we're in discussions about a potential exhibition next year, which would be brilliant. Whereas the other gallery that I exhibit with, they are interested in the contemporary stuff. And actually for them, those paintings are, are a good fit, very colourful and bright and bold, which is very similar to the other work that they have. And at the same time, my work is slightly different to what they already show. And so it's good to get out as much as you can to, to see what's on. Um, Instagram and Facebook are brilliant for seeing what's on in your area. And follow galleries that are local to you as well. Back in the studio now. A close up the sketch that I did on the riverside of a bridge. Pen and what kind of pencils. These are the supplies that I used yesterday when I was out, and these are a tin of moleskin watercolour pencils. So these are a pack of 12 which I got free when I purchased this notebook which is also a whole scheme in which I drew this view under the footbridge Ipswich train station out waiting for the train back home after delivering new drawings to the George Farnham Gallery. So I did this on the platform. But that's, I've been wanting a really, really nice handy sketchbook. So when I purchased that from Cass Art, I got this free tin of watercolour pencils. I've not tried them actually in that notebook, but I have tried them this watercolour sketchbook and it, I used these pilot drawing pens size one three and five I also used these Van Gogh Royal Talons Oil pastels, these are really good, I've really enjoyed these, they're quite affordable. And I've got these Pentel water brushes. And my only problem with these is that if you leave the water in, and we're in a hard water area here, East Anglia, what happens is these all get clogged up, and I have tried lots of different things to try and unclog them, but sadly, after a few months, you have to buy some new ones. It's probably different if you're in a soft water area, you probably don't get that problem, but this is probably my third set now. But when they are working properly, they're absolutely brilliant. So I use watercolour pencil, 
across all of this, coloring in first of all. And if I just quickly demonstrate, you can squeeze a bit of water out. And then you can agitate the pencil. So actually I can keep re-wetting this as much as I like. So they're really handy because actually what I don't then have to do is carry around a bottle of water and a pot. Again I've got some purple that I put down. Blend those in. So you can either leave them as if they're pencils or add some water. That's really good for being out and about. with it. 